Well, hello everybody. My name is Lindsay and today I am just gonna go throughout my day. My hair is crazy, like it always is. I don't do it. <laughs> I, I don't have time. <laughs> I washed it last night and then I slept in it and then I threw it in a bun this morning and this is what it is now. This is how my hair is now and I'm okay with that. <laughs> but this morning I woke up with a lot of energy which is not normal for me. So I woke up with a lot of energy and I decided to get some things done on my list. So I was able to do some laundry, do some dishes, do some hanging of picture frames. I. Honestly, I don't even know what all I did. I think that might be it. <laughs> but now I really need to, um, I need to go to Home Depot and Walmart and get a few things, but also take something back. But I wanna show you those clips from this morning before we go. So let's watch those right now. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know what was happening this morning, but I just had so much energy when I woke up, I, guys, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I woke up and I just felt like I could conquer the world. So I first started by doing, obviously, some laundry. I needed to put it away. I needed to, there were two whole baskets full of laundry. And guys, this is when I felt like I was on top of the world because I had finished getting my laundry ready. <laughs> I like getting it all done after my trip. We went camping a couple weeks ago and I just, I have not felt like we have been able to finish and make and like get the laundry done. So I am just amazing and I did it and I feel really good. And it just, guys, when your laundry's all done, it's magnificent. In my last video, I went through my closet. I tried on all my clothes. I was gonna do, like I was gonna try on all these clothes after like coming out of the wash, but I figured like if there's something I really hated, I'd just take it out. And if there was like most of the stuff I had just recently worn, obviously, cause it's in the wash. So I just put it in my closet unless it was something I did not think I would fit in currently. Um, and I did take one pair of pants and put it in my bin, but I think that was a little bit later on because I think I, I washed those because I did do another load because there was a load in my closet while I'm doing this. But guys, like one load of dirty laundry was what I was left with after I put away all of these clean clothes. And sure, it took a minute, it took a while, but it was necessary. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Is there just like a chore that you have yet to be able to like stay on top of? I feel like laundry and dishes have been that thing, but this last week I've been able to like stay on top of both of them. Like in the next clip, I think I do dishes and man, guys, like I actually unloaded all my dishes in the morning and then I loaded everything into the dishwasher and it wasn't even full I didn't have to run it it was crazy like that never happens in my at least not in the last like month it hasn't happened I haven't been able to see the bottom of my sink very often it's for like five seconds and then we have more dishes to put in there I don't know or I didn't even empty the empty the sink because I filled up my dishwasher and you know, I just have not stayed on top of it. I know my kitchen needs another declutter that's coming. I need to do that soon. I feel like there's just way too many of the same things and we're not running out soon enough. Like we're, we, we have too many before it gets to the time when we have to wash them. Okay, so I just found this song today. I think I mean it's been in my folder but I don't know for sure I may have played it on my channel before but you'll have to tell me if you remember it it's called do it again by Mondays it's pretty fun and upbeat
Man, I just love finding new music. It really makes my heart happy because I grew up as like a theater theater kid doing musicals and also being in the choir. I was like in the show choir in high school and it was just so much fun. Sometimes I'd get solos because I was just that cool. Okay, I just, I was so cool. <laughs> I got the solo for what was the song? Thank you for the music from Mamma Mia, I believe. Like we did like the ABBA music because it was like around the same time that Mamma Mia came out. I think it was in junior high that I got that solo. But man, <laughs> I was just the coolest. So um, I did change my outfit as you can see. I switched my, sh I didn't switch my pants because I wear these everywhere and they're like the most comfy thing, especially when it's so freaking hot like it is right now, but I did change my shirt. I can't remember why, but I changed it for some reason. Who knows? Um, but here I am just adjusting the camera like crazy, but I'm putting away Dan's clothes. In the last couple clips, I did take Dan's bedding off so that I could wash it and I do end up putting it on in this video as well. And then I also put away my quarantine box for my last video. I put that in the dining room cabinet. Um, I wanted it kind of close and also I didn't want it to have to take it all the way downstairs, you know, you know, you know. Um, so yeah, I did take that into the dining room. That was where that box had originated from. So I was like, well, I know if I was to look for it, this is where I would look. So that's where I put it. I... I decided to start hanging some picture frames because my house has looked a little like no one lives here lately, you know, like it needs some pictures on the walls. So I did hang this one. This is one that my mother painted. She is magnificent. She is so talented. My family is very talented on the art, <laughs> in the art aspect. Like there's my one sister is a cake decorator. One sister is a graphic designer one sister paints and she has like her own business where she like she has a website where she paints and sends out her artwork and prints of her artwork she's magnificent and then there's my mom and yeah it's just there's yeah there's a lot of talent <laughs> and I always felt like the odd one out like I I know I have talent but I'm not as artsy I'm more like do it, like do the DIY, like, and I liked to write music and I liked to, I don't know, just kind of do this kind of stuff. <laughs> like I like to make things. I, I don't know. And obviously painting and doing that is making things, but it's just a little bit more different. Like the stuff that I've been making is like cabinets. <laughs> so I didn't used to do that when I was little, but like little younger, um, but now it's kind of what I do now. So that's kind of fun too. I also decided to hang up this paint, this picture of my family on that wall. I think I might have hung it too high. You guys will have to tell me. I'm pretty sure I did. But I'm also not that worried about it. I'm going to put some like plants or something on the table like in front of it. <laughs> so it'll fill in that space a little bit more but it might just be too small of a picture for that wall anyway I don't know I think I really did hang it too high though I think it needed to go down just a smidge just just looks a little little tall but it's all right I went and looked for a stud on that wall and then I realized oh yeah this wall is cement <laughs> <laughs> there's not going to be a stud in the cement wall. And I know that because when we did the kitchen, the two outside walls in the kitchen are all cement, like not cement, um, cinder block. Because we know that because we had to put electrical in the cinder block and it would have cost a ton of money to get that done if we hadn't done the actual digging and putting the conduit in ourselves and like, well, actually, I don't think we put the conduit in, but we did, did the digging so that he could, so that our electrician could get the conduit into the wall to make it go up the wall. Um, yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> I might have some footage of that from a while ago, but that was insane. And I would not say that that was the funnest part of doing the renovation. I would say that that was probably the worst part of doing the renovation, but I'm just so happy that we did it. It looks so much better than it did. Anyway, so I'm hanging this picture of 
Devin is actually a very good photographer and I am hanging this picture in the hallway of a paint of a picture he took and he got framed and it's really nice. It's very pretty. It's like of a log and he did coloring on it and it's just it's very nice. So I wanted to hang it up in the hallway so that he can see it all the time. And so I can see it too because I like it. I did end up moving it because I think I, I realized I didn't um, put it in the center. And it's a very light frame, so I wasn't that worried about it falling. I didn't, like the stud was in the worst possible place. I thought it would be right in the middle of that wall, but it was not. So I, I didn't put it there. <laughs> I put it right in the middle. Um, and then I moved Dan's little picture of Jesus. He loves this picture of Jesus. And he's, he's always excited. By the way, that is also a cinder block wall. So that's why it's taking so freaking long to hang this picture. Um, this is sped up like four times. So, <laughs> so yeah, it took a minute. And then I have this picture of Dan that I've been resting on his dresser that I decided to hang on this wall that we're facing right now. And here I'm looking for a stud. I didn't want this one to fall. It was a lot heavier than the other one in the hallway. Um... But yeah, and so this this wall is not cinder block. They actually did add studs and drywall to this wall before we moved in. And so Dan, Dan's room is a little bit more insulated than the kitchen, I think. But that's okay. Um, and so, yeah, and then I was thinking of putting that giraffe picture on that wall next to Dan's picture. But I was like, no, there's a lot of empty space over here above the crib. And I think it looks really cute on top of the crib. I did find a stud for this one as well. At least I think I did. I can't remember. Who really knows? It took me forever to do this one. I, th I think I did cut out some of the footage because it took so long. But, um, yeah, I just... I just put a screw in and decided to just, oh yeah, I put a screw in and then I threw the picture up and it looks so cute in his room, I think. Um, I love his little giraffe room. Anyway, here I'm going to talk again. So see you on the flip, flippity flop. So this is not very minimalist of me, but I bought a, I bought a jigsaw because I like to cut wood all the time, hence why my kitchen looks like this. I, <laughs> I like to do renovations in my house and I've been trying to get them done in the kitchen specifically and I didn't have a jigsaw. We have had been borrowing Devin's parents and we use like our table saw downstairs, but we've been borrowing Devin's parents, but like the last three times that I'd asked him to pick it up, and borrow it or we asked like his sister to pick it up for me and just no one brought it and I was fine I wasn't like upset I was just like you know what I think I want to get my own guys I bought the wrong one for one but and then also yesterday so I bought this yesterday and I bought the wrong one and Devin brought me this like five minutes later so <laughs> I do want to get one of my own at some point I just they're expensive this one was a hundred dollars and it was on sale, but then it always, it's a cordless one and requires a specific battery. It's an 18 volt battery. So I'm gonna take it back, <laughs> get my $100 back, cause somehow that's expensive. And because I can use the one that we're borrowing, I just, at some point I would do wanna get my own because I do like to use things and I have a lot of projects that I wanna use a jigsaw for. So. <laughs> I have some ribs thawing out on my counter. I may need to pop them into my fridge before I head out, but just because they're starting to thaw out a little bit too much. But they're for dinner, so I'm excited for that for dinner. I love, I love ribs, they're delicious. And I'm probably just gonna make them really simply, uh, throw them in the oven on a low temperature for like three hours, and then salt and pepper. I'm really not that worried about it. And then if anyone wants dipping sauce, they can have some barbecue sauce. I've got lots in the fridge. So, what am I doing? What is next for me? Um, so we need to go to Home Depot and I need to grab a couple things while I'm there as well. And yeah, so I think we're gonna head to the groceries, to Walmart. I need to get some beef jerky and a few other things. I love beef, jer beef jerky. We're going on a trip and it's not a trip unless we have beef jerky. It's just not. Yeah, so let's head to the stores right now. <laughs> All right, so we're just right outside Walmart. We're gonna head in. I'm gonna, my hair, I, <laughs> I don't know. 
It's just one of those days. Um, we're gonna head in and we're gonna grab some beef jerky, maybe look at their meat, because I've been trying to find good meat prices right now, so I'll maybe look at their meat. Um, I do want some beef jerky though, it sounds delicious, and I wanna bring that for the trip that we're going on. Guys, I'm really nervous about going on a trip again because when we went on our camping trip, we went and we came back and it took me, like literally, I just felt like I got back on track with laundry. It's been like two weeks. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm like so nervous. It's like, well, I probably like a week and a half. I don't know. It's been a long time. So I'm nervous because I don't, I don't want to get stuck. We're not going camping, so there won't be quite as much stuff, but it'll still feel overwhelming. So I think when I get back, one of my goals is going to get all of the laundry done in a day and put everything away. That'll probably be an upcoming video, but let's go into Walmart. You ready, Dan? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. You gonna leave your Lightning McQueen here so we don't lose it? I'm going to go to the store. No, let's leave it here so we don't lose it. We can take it into the other store, okay? All right, so I did find some, it's, pork for carnitas but honestly pork is pork so I got those I don't ever make carnitas but they were on sale for like 460 for that package and 463 for this one and then I was I saw turkey drumsticks and I'm like hmm kind of want to try those so I'm gonna try making some turkey legs and then I've never tried this but it's the zero sugar beef jerky um, having some pork rinds they sounded good I don't know I've never had them but I was tempted to try pork rinds and then I found some bone broth I'm trying to do a little bit healthier of a diet but um, also oh, adding more see. fat and then so bone broth is great for drinking and just you know bone health and everything so and then I got a couple bananas because Dan wanted bananas found a couple little outfits for him for his pajamas. Um, These ones um, there. Um, $6.98 per um, pair and they're a size 3 T so they'll fit him for a minute. And then we're gonna see if he'll use these. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> Those are like $10 for all of them. But yeah, I think that's all I'm getting. Let me, oh and I'm also pricing air fryers. Tempted to get one. So let me know what your favorite air fryer is down below. So for some reason I had my hand over like the microphone. Anyway, so I got a new curtain rod. I grabbed one for my shower. It's a shower curtain rod. And then I also grabbed some curtains for Dan's room. It, I just figured it was cheaper than making the barn doors right now, even than just getting the hardware. I don't know. I just... I'm just kind of at that point. And then I found a curtain rod for his room. It's just easier. But I did end up grabbing a black um, shower curtain rod instead of the white one. I just felt like it would look better in my bathroom. <laughs> so that's what I did. I might see if they have a black one of this though because Dan's calling it a stick. <laughs> Is that your stick? You're so silly. Yeah. Is that pretty cool? This smells amazing. I'm really tempted to buy it, but I bought, I got one. It's the guava lime one and it, that's only like $4. <laughs> this one's seven. It's so good. It smells so good though. Mm. I'm just gonna get the one that I have already. I like it. I put it in my cart. It's not, Dan's trying to break all the candles. So I'm like looking at this, that is so cute. I would love that in my house. I don't wanna pay $22 for it though. Um, and there's this one, which is so cute. I'm just getting some inspiration for like other rooms of my house. Like maybe my bedroom, you know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's just kind of fun looking at the different things. Oh, that horse paintings, or I think it's a picture. But this cow is just, I love it. I love this cow. Dan, are you looking at the candle? So I grabbed a black one of these. It was the last one they had. So I'm glad I found it. 
And then this pillow is like $7, so I'm grabbing that because I think... Oh, can you, you want to smell the candle? Yeah. Okay. What does it smell like? Can you smell it? Mm. Can you smell it? I can't open it right now because we got to buy it first. Can you smell it? it smells so good. Um, and then the pillow I grabbed because I think it'll go good on my gray couch to tie in the other color of my cream colored couch. This, this is more tan than my couch, but it's like the same fabric. So I'm just slowly uh, gonna get decorations open. for my house <laughs> and finishing touches. Cause I'm just, I'm getting done. I'm getting tired of doing all these DIYs for things, but yeah, <laughs> you know, go through, go through stages. I do want to get like a little succulent or something for my for my bathroom shelf that I put in there. I don't know. I don't want to pay $10 for it though. I might just go to the Dollar Tree and find something. <laughs> like I love this one. This is so cute. But it's 15 freaking dollars. I don't want to pay that much. When I'm shopping at Walmart, I just use the app and then I like scan the barcode and see? $15. I don't want things to look nice that badly. <laughs> well, no one said it wasn't hot. Because <laughs> it is. <laughs> Dan's got his Lightning McQueen toy. I didn't buy him anything other than I did buy him the outfits and underwear. Um, he needed new jammies, so I bought him new jammies. And we're going to try potty training. I'm not going to force it. Um, I, If you want to know how I'm deciding to do my potty training is I'm listening to Jordan Page's video where she did potty training for her her kids because she has like eight kids and she's potty trained six of them and so I think she's pretty good at knowing how to do it so I'm gonna listen to her and her video is magnificent if you haven't already watched it I'll actually link it below if you're interested if you're like at that age at that stage where you're worried about potty training it's a magnificent video and I really wish I had had it when I was when I was a nanny <laughs> and I also wish I had had it when um, my sister was struggling with her three-year-old on how to actually I think he might be four now but he struggled really bad with potty training. So I wish I had had that for her before I found it. Because I found it and she had already been struggling for months. So I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. So if you want to check out that video below, I will have it linked. But also, yeah. So we're going to head to Home Depot and just take back that jigsaw. And then grab the hinges I need. And some little screws. Because I need some of those as well. <laughs> Oh, but $120 later at Walmart guys. Why is everything so expensive? Uh. So after we got home, I threw this pillow on the couch and I do like the way it looks. I do need to get more pillows, but I like the way this one looks. It looks good. And then I ran into Dan's room and I decided to hang the curtains. I just got a tension rod just so that it would be really, really, really simple and to hang it up. And then I also got curtains that were very similar to the color of the wall. And I think I like it that way because it just kind of blends in. It makes it I don't know. It just makes it a little bit more like it was meant to be that way. Like it was meant to have a curtain. I don't know. You have to tell me what you think. I do need to steam these, like throw these in my laundry, my dryer with a wet rag to steam them up because they are definitely wrinkly. But I do, I do like this. I don't think it's like the most amazing fix, but it works better than nothing. But it kind of just blends into the wall, which is really nice. And then there's always laundry to do. This was the load of laundry from, there was a couple like clothes, but then like the shirt I was wearing that morning, I must've gotten something on it. I cannot remember for the life of me, but um, I washed all of Dan's bedding. So I wanted to put everything away out of the clothing because there wasn't very much of it for one. And 
because I wanted to get all of Dan's bedding out. So I threw everything of Dan's bedding into the basket and just folded all the other stuff really quick so that I could, and hung it up obviously, and just put it all away so that I could put Dan's bedding on and not have another load of laundry to put away later. I just wanted to, you know, keep it going. I was also on the phone with my sister at this point. We talk on the phone a lot. It's really nice to have someone to chat with. Me and her are very, very similar. And we just, I don't know, we just have a lot to talk about. <laughs> so we talk quite a bit, but it's fun. And I, hey, look, there's some clean shorts. I must have some. I did this yesterday, so I must have some clean shorts. Why didn't I grab those this morning? They're so comfy. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so just putting all this away and it just feels so good to get it put away. So then I just put Dan's bed back together. Um, we actually are leaving on our trip tomorrow after the day after um, editing this video. I don't know when this video is actually going up though. I think this is going up on Monday and today's Friday. So yeah, I'm trying to get all my videos filmed for while we're gone, like filmed and edited for while we're gone. And it's just a lot guys. I might not have a video on Wednesday. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> but um, it's just so fun to have his bed all made and look so nice. It just feels really good. I, I had to wash some more of his blankets that were like tucked behind his crib when I hung the other picture I was like oh why are these back here I don't even know um taking my towel down I hang it up there to dry after I shower because then the towel dries a lot quicker but this curtain rod was kind of rusted and it just I don't I didn't really love it so the black I think looks really nice it's a stark difference and like the little things holding it up because there are little things holding up the curtain rod because we had issues with our curtain rod falling. So they're black. So I wanted it to match that. I think it looks a lot better with the black curtain rod. Um, here I am. I'm going to take down the blinds here. I just think that the curtains filter enough light and the blinds were, you could see them through the curtains and I just I didn't love the way it looked so I decided to take down the blinds I did hang them a couple days ago and I do love the curtains a lot more um, than the blinds and it makes the room look so much taller it makes the ceiling look higher I don't know it looks a lot better and I think that curtains up to the ceiling are just such a nice touch oh I stopped at um, McDonald's and got a couple drinks Funny story, actually. <laughs> I was talking, oh gosh. I was talking on the phone with my sister while I was driving through McDonald's and I just ordered a water cup for Dan and I got myself Diet Coke. I think I, I drank half of it and I think I dumped the rest because I just wasn't feeling it today and they don't last longer. <laughs> I'm like trying to cut back on the soda so I feel pretty good doing that and still McDonald's is like the cheapest Diet Coke ever, so. Um, so I, yeah, I definitely threw it away. <laughs> I was trying to remember if I did. Um, but funny story. I really went through because Dan wanted a drink and when he wants a drink, then I'm like, okay, I'll get a Diet Coke. I don't need it. I just wanted it. <laughs> so I'm trying to cut back on Diet Coke though. So I stopped buying it at the store. After I went camping, I was like, okay, I don't need a can of Diet Coke every day. I just need to have more energy from eating better food. So I, I'm trying to eat better, but um, we went and got drinks. So I order and I pull up to the window to pay and I pay them and I'm just sitting and talking to my sister. And since I had paid at the window, I just drove, I just drove off and I get onto the street and Dan, and I'm still talking to my sister and Dan goes, oh, Wadi, Wadi. <laughs> And I'm like, oh crap. So I turn around because there was like an easy way to get back on to get back into the um, McDonald's parking lot. So I turn around and I just get right in line in front of like the people ordering because there was a little bit of space. So I just like flipped in there, <laughs> went past the window, like where you pay. And I was just like, so um, I forgot to grab my drinks. So I'm just going to go grab them. <laughs> and then I got to the next window and the guy was just like, okay, <laughs> he hands me my drinks. I thought it was funny, but it was just, it just felt like a brain, brain fart, you know? Anyway, 
So I didn't show you what I got at, uh, I almost said Hobby Lobby. That is not where I went. I went to Home Depot. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take everything out of the bag really quick. So let's turn down here. Why are screws so expensive? I don't know. Um, I grabbed a bunch of these because, so when I painted my cabinets, my lower cabinets, I had colors picked out and I really like the bottom colors, but I'm really questioning the top color that I have. It's in here. No, it's not. Yeah, it's in here. So you can try and guess which one I was going to paint the cabinets, but um, I, and then Dan grabbed this one. I'm not painting anything this um, elk, elk hound color. Anyway, so I got some, this is actually not anything I bought, except it came with the shower curtain, so, or curtain rod, I should say. Don't need that. Um, okay, so I got the right hinges for the store. I probably won't do that today, maybe if I have time. Um, I needed a bunch of really short screws, so I got some half inch screws and some three quarter inch screws. I don't know which ones I needed for the countertop, but I figured we'll use them at some point. It's never a bad idea to have extra screws. And then I needed some like shorter drywall screws, like some shorter screws that aren't super long because I have like three and a half inch screws and then these ones. So I spent a lot less than the jigsaw, so that's good, I guess. But I need to get the ribs in the oven. I think I'm gonna have to separate it between two pans because it's pretty big. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big, uh, big thing of spare ribs, but I'm excited. I love ribs. So that's what we're having tonight for dinner. Um, adding more fat and more protein to my diet. Honestly, any meat, um, as long as it's really fatty or I can add like bacon grease or ground beef fat to it and it's great and I love it. So I'm going to cut that up. So I think I'll just go down the middle. So I just needed to in half so that I could actually put it in the oven and to cook ribs I always go low and slow. Um, I did it this time at 200 degrees. I don't know if that was correct. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn how to cook meat better. Um, I did take off this membrane and then I did throw it into a Ziploc baggie and throw it in my fridge because I am going to make some broth at the end of the week once I've done everything with meat. <laughs> like I'm going to throw it in my freezer and then once I have enough like meat bones to use then I'll throw it in a pot and just boil it and get all the nutrients out of the bones and everything um, just to use it up. I don't like to waste things. And so, yeah, so I'm throwing this in. Ribs are delicious. And then this is the next thing I had to do. I needed to cut the countertop for the three inch cabinet above my little cabinet that I built, like between the range and the wall. It's just like three and a half inches. It's not very big. So I used a jigsaw to cut it. So I, when I took this off, obviously, I wanted to check and make sure that what I wanted to set on there would fit. I drilled holes into the top piece that would be holding the countertop on top of it. And I, I thought I could do it without pulling the stove out, but I definitely had to pull the stove out. So I do end up pulling the stove out after a little bit of trying, but yes, it does look so much better. And I do do something else also to those shelves to make them look a little nicer as well. I don't know. Um, I think it looks a little bit more nice. And I do love that the cookie sheets, the baking sheets fit absolutely perfect in there. That is what I made it for. And it just fits so much better. And no, I am not I'm not a professional at this, and there are only two screws in that countertop, but it didn't really need very many more. It was fine just having two um, because I couldn't get the drill all the way back there. I thought I would be able to, but I couldn't. So it has a screw in the middle, and then it has a screw at the very front, like where, like closer to me, where I am in the video, um, and it it works fine. <laughs> But truly, it's just getting these jobs done, the jobs that are nagging at you, the jobs that are sitting on your to-do list for hours and hours and days and days, and I just, it's just so much better to just do it. 
Also, there's like sawdust on my butt. So I don't know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so now I'm just adding, what am I adding? Oh, I'm adding the contact paper onto those shelves. I think it needed it. I think it needed to look cute. <laughs> it was not cute before. And so you'll see in a second once I get it on there and I do end up wrapping it around the shelf so it looks like it's actually like a wooden shelf. I mean, it's Dollar Tree contact paper so there's only so much it can do to make it look real but I think it looks pretty good. And I also did that just so it wouldn't scrap, scratch up that paint on the bottom because the cookie sheets would be brought in and out of that um, shelf a ton so just making it a little bit nicer is helpful I also used the silicone because that's what I had on hand I used the silicone to hold the contact paper down in the very front just so that it would have something to adhere to and I think it stayed pretty good I don't know <laughs> I use silicone for way too many things but it works you know it's it helps <laughs> it does the things I want it to do so I went and cut another piece I this next song is one of my favorites. It's called I Want to Stay Here With You by Loving Caliber. It's just so fun and I love to listen to this one and it's just, it's really good. So keep watching, hang out with me, listen to some awesome music. Let's go. This is like the best tip ever. If you don't wanna to have to buy a new silicone every time, either put a screw or a nail in it that fits inside the hole that you made. It's awesome. <laughs> and after doing such a big project, it is always a great idea <laughs> to take off all of the stuff off the counter.
and clean it off, wipe it down, take all of the things back to their homes. I am not always the best at this, not gonna lie. I did okay today. There were still things on my counter, but I felt like it was a good solid try. <laughs> and I did what I could. There's only so much you can do in a day, and we just got to be graceful with ourselves. Graceful? We have to give ourselves a lot of grace. <laughs> um, I, I'm i a very big advocate of progress over perfection. Perfection is unattainable. Progress is absolutely attainable. We can we can get progress every day. 1% more, 1% better every day is so much more better than we could have imagined us being. And yeah, so that's my goal. I still have sawdust all over my tushy and you know, I just, that's how it is. That's what happens when you do this kind of stuff. Feels so much better in here. I am very happy. I love the countertop on that. I think it looks amazing. I do need to add like the little edge piece on it. But right now it looks really good. And I think it'll look I think it'll look even nicer once the door's on it and everything, so that's really exciting. But guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun. I am exhausted. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye!